Hey guys, today we tie another perch fly. This one on a RX hook, you can see that. Texas hook, PR380 in 1.0. And this is a really nice hook size for catching big perch. And the first thing what we do is we take one of these, I hope you can see that if we place it up here, of these tungsten beads. They are four millimeters from Future Fly. But they have a really, really wide gap opening, so you can just slide them easily on top of it. And what we do then is we take um, one of these shrink tubes from Smartbus, the small version, just cut them in half. And I hope you can see that if I put it on here. We just take the shrink tube 50 50 and just Get it onto the hook like that. So let me show what we do then. We uh, just get our Semperfly thread. This one is an 8O. Looks not really tight. Just to get a little bit more friction here for the uh, tungsten beads uh, for the tungsten bead we just get a few thread wraps around here like that nothing more needed and we take our super glue just apply a good portion of super glue here this is uh, the Gulf Minuteman now we slide the bead on here. It should hold. So what do we do then? We slide our shrink tube down here. Like that. And then we take our lighter and just make it small. Like that, make sure you fold it a bit back like that till it dries. Just hold it with your with your hands. As soon as it's getting cold again, it's getting stiffer. So now we have a good shape. Hope you can see that here, and this really helps us for our fly. Try to show you that here to just stand. On the water, on the bottom, so you can do whatever you want. We'll always stand if there's a current going from the from from the left to the right, for example, or the other way around. It just pushes against the fly, so the fly won't tap to the side, but it'll always stand upside, and that's really good for for the perch. So we just take a little bit of the tying thread here as well, just to uh, secure that a bit more. Just kind of figure eight it. Just a knot in it. And then we cut the excess. Apply a little bit of super glue on top here as well. Now the legs are in position and uh, just remain the uh, remove the excess. So you can do that also with with uh, monofill. That's how I usually do it. But so it's better visible. I done it here with the same thread. Usually I do it with a uh, monofill. So now our hook's in and we can actually tie our fly. Just get the hook again into a good position. And I hope this is on the picture now. First thing we do is we take the hot fluorette Gulf Ambulance and just fill the hole of the of the tungsten bead. 
but this gives us a really nice fluorescent highlight like that you can see that hopefully really like these ambulance colors they're so amazing UV active and then we can actually start tying our fly so we just start with a few thread wraps just on the short edge here and I'll take a little bit of super glue here just to secure it if I don't have that much space and I got from Smartless I got all these materials for these fly uh, for this fly and uh, I got some of the craft fur or fly fur it's called really nice long craft fur and with that we can just kind of tie nearly the whole fly so we just take a decent amount of the craft fur and brush the under fur out here and then we tie all that stuff in this time we tie it Worse, so we're folding it back just to give the fly a little bit more volume. And we take the chartreuse colored fly for, for the top, don't take too much, just maybe from the thickness, it's maybe a third of a pencil, so it's really not much. And that's with the other fur when we brush the other fur out, it's probably even a bit less. So now let me compress it so you can see it. It's around that amount. Hope you can see that. We tie it on the other side. Like that. And only because I have so many, so less space to tie, I on this fly I really secure the single wraps with a super glue. So we got now a little bit of space left, and I um, tie this on top here. Usually, you could just reverse it, and then you can, for example, put a fish mask or whatever on top but because the craft fur is a really really light material and when you want to fish the fly a little bit faster what happens if you jig it is you the fly is falling onto the bottom and the craft fur stands up like that and really slowly goes down and I wanted to get it a little bit it sticks a little bit more to the uh, hook point um, so I just put a layer of um, monster top on top. So we just take a small amount, not too much. And like that, just place it here. Get some of the dirty chartreuse for the other side. Like that. Just make a knot in it. And then we get a little bit of super glue in between. Just to secure everything. And then we can cut the excess of the thread. Take our cat brush and just brush everything back. So 
now everything is brushed back, we just stroke it gently with our fingers, just to work the fibers around the hook shank. You can also use the dubbing needle. So we take now a little bit of tear mender here for the head section. Both sides. Just work it in there. You can use your dubbing needle. Take some of these. blue green smart blue eyes and just press them into the tear mender like that. now make sure just to align the eyes a bit these eye tools and just finish the fly just wait a bit until everything is uh, secured just take off the eye clamp and then the eyes still need a bit of time to uh, to dry but uh, just give it some time to rest later, but this is the finished fly, however. And now through the monster dub, the um, fibers are when the, the, the fly drops down, jigging, they don't rise up like that. So it gives a bit more stability, and then it stays closer to the hook point. But you can still really feel good into the hook point. So I'm really looking forward to get uh, this one into the water. Thanks for watching.